Hey guys, what's up? This is your man Kamari, aka Reno Slowmotion. And I'm making a video response to my trans bro. I will call him trans bro. Um, I call him a liberator, like the trans liberator. Like he's got a cool mental, spiritual side about him in the trans man aspect of evolving mental minds that don't know the terminologies or the basic information of trans men um which is laid back laid back um if you don't know go check them out l a d b a q q that's l a i d b a Q Q. That's laid back. Um, he's on YouTube, so type that in, and you'll see. The, the video I'm responding to is called um, um, I guess it's kind of like the partner of dating someone who's trans, gen trans. Or trans man and um this that video actually helps in Inami Al Amani Inami is her name and she's like the feature um like the featuring her and like that's like the host but I would say go check the video um because this video is something that probably could have helped me and my ex that I was with for a long time. Yeah, I remember. Like, I was with her before I even started transitioning. But, um, yeah, so the video is like really mad good. I didn't finish watching it, I just thought I'd hurry up and make this video uh, before I go to bed. Maybe. Maybe. Because I got like two good ones for me um, to make another video. But, that's what broke us up. Like, when I was with my ex, it was like she was, that's the first thing that came out of my mouth. Why? Her being a lesbian and me being trans, it. it was being trans it kind of broke her spirits a little bit because she thought that me being identified as trans as a trans man or male terminology would influence others to look at her in a straight manner which means she didn't want to tell people that she was dating me and that kind of sucked you know So, like, it broke us up because I felt like you want me to let you be you, but then you want me to hide who I was for your benefits, and you was worried about how others was going to view you instead of worrying about how your partner was feeling. Does that make any sense? Contrary that As me Being me They usually say that Trans men are very selfish And so self-absorbed Because we worry about We worried Or trans men worried about Taking tea and their expectations Of their appearance Of looking like a man And how the world Is going to view them to evolve mentally and physically in a manifestation as a man but saying that we was putting our our partners who were lesbian women on the back burner for our selfish needs and for our own benefits but my thing is this people change you learn to evolve you learn to grasp new things, 
challenges. Um, it can it could break you. It can make you stronger. Being someone who a person that was trans, you know, if someone tells you that, it's not to hurt you. It's not to offend your identification as a lesbian woman. It is telling you something that how they felt that knowing it can hurt the relationship or sharing something that could benefit the relationship you know in an aspect manner meaning growth people forget that growth is learning to evolve mentally not just only physically and spiritually but you're involving your mind around something some concept you never heard before a trans man that's involved with a lesbian woman to make something unique a bond that um, not even straight couples can even get to you know um and unfortunately minds could not get that far <laughs> you know so um I dealt with that situation and I didn't and a lot of people assume did you stop your transition because of of that no if you watched a couple of videos I said before, I did it because of me. Because, one, my health is important. Two, even if I can get back on, which probably I could, or can, probably could start to you again. I just don't want to. I just don't. Because I know later down the line, I'm going to stop taking tea. And I like my livers. They're fine. And I don't want to be 60 and 70 years old trying to get a nurse to shoot me my testosterone. If that makes any sense. Any sense at all. But if you're a lesbian and you're getting involved with someone who is transgender or trans man, understand. Be a partner. A faithful partner. Like they've been to you. Be loyal to them. Because telling someone that they're trans is not easy. It's just like coming out to, as you as a lesbian female, femme, or stud, telling your parents you're gay. And then waiting for how they're going to accept it. That's the same thing in being a trans person. Acceptance. But the hard part is not getting acceptance from your partner. Because... They don't understand, or it's it's gonna how people is gonna reflect on them because they're involved with you and you would want to be identified as a man, and they're a lesbian, and you're worried about how the community. One thing is this: when you came into this world, the community wasn't born with you; you was born into it. So fuck the community, or what their views and their opinions is. Worry about how your partner feels. Worry about how their, how, what their needs is. Worry about how you two are going to get through this situation together. See, that's the difference. In our community, we're so worried about...